back with another shoe DIY. I'm so excited for these ones. I'm excited for all of them apparently, but these ones I'm really excited for because I have like a new obsession with pearls. So I think I'm gonna start a little pearl segment on the DIY section of this channel because pearls are just like in my brain. Add an itch, this is not, okay. But they're in my brain, for real. So today we're gonna do Mew Mew's Pearl Mules. So these are inspired by these shoes. I don't usually do it exactly like the shoe, but they do inspire me to create a similar shoe. So that's where the inspiration came from. And they're just simple mules, and we're gonna put pearls on them and studs and a little bit of rhinestones. Um, rhinestones, this. And we're gonna make it look real pretty and expensive. These are gonna be really cool. I'm very excited for them. So besides the pearls, the rhinestones, and the studs that you need for this, you're going to need glue, E6000 glue. You're going to need pliers, especially with me with these nails. I can't pick up anything. Um, even if you don't have nails, it's really hard. So it's just easier if you have pliers or tweezers, whatever, to pick up like the little pieces that you're gonna be working with. Um, because E6000 glue is very strong and if you're gonna constantly be doing projects like me, I'm trying to be better, I'm trying to be healthy. Um, so I recommend like just investing in a face mask for these DIYs when you're using something very like, a, like has a very strong smell to it. Um, if it smells like toxic, then it probably is and I don't think you should be smelling it like in all the time. So I'm trying to be better about like not just like sniffing in glue and just being, protecting my, all, all that's going on in there, just protect it, you know. So a face mask, that's it. That's all you need, it's gonna be easy. Let's get started. First thing I'm gonna do is start with the big pearls. And for this very first one, it doesn't have to be for all of them, but actually for all of them, I like. I'm gonna start in the middle like this and then I'm gonna work my way out from the middle and you kind of want them to all be in line with one another so I think it's just easier I want a pearl to be in the middle of the shoe so it's easier to start in the middle if I start on the side it won't guarantee that one will end up in the middle so that's how I'm gonna start I'm not I just talked about this glue but I'm not I mean I just talked about the mask and I'm not gonna wear it right now um, for the second shoe I will because I'll be off camera but I don't want to be wearing it and try and explain it to you guys at the same time. It's just, I'll just sound muffled. Let me get my pad. All right. So you're just going to start gluing it on. A little bit of glue goes a long way. So just starting from the middle. And like always with the E6000 glue, it doesn't set right away, so you have a minute to move it around. It's a good and a bad thing, because it will move around a little bit, so you want to just keep your eye on the pearls. As always, I am linking everything below in the description, so if you want to use exactly what I'm using, I'll link everything below. So, so far this is what we have, these three. Big ol' pearls, big ol' pearls, big ol' pearls. I'm jet lagged, guys, so don't mind me today. I'm a little crazy. And I don't think this glue snipping happening is helping, but. So I was debating if I wanted to do big and little pearls or just big pearls. You can do whatever you want. I'm going to decide in a minute once I get more of these pearls on what I really want to do. Because I'm not. I'm not sure if it's gonna look cute. It look, even looks cute kinda just like that. If it's gonna look cute with little pearls here. So I'm literally today, I am designing with you guys because I'm not set on my design yet, which is kind of a first. Usually I know, today I know. So like I said, you have some leeway with the pearls. So this is great because I kind of just put them wrong a little bit, like I didn't have enough room, so I was able to kind of move them over 
um, a tiny bit. I just wish like you could move it to where you want it to be and it just stays and it doesn't. Um, it, it does shift a little still. So that's why like the less glue you put the better so it doesn't shift as much. So if you put in a lot of glue on there it's going to kind of move around some more while the glue is setting. So just always keep an eye on them. Make sure like they're not shifting too crazy. Okay, I'm trying to decide. I'm trying to decide. Moment of truth, guys. Are we gonna do little pearls and big ones? Will she decide? Okay, 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 okay. I think I'm gonna do little pearls too, guys. I think I convinced myself. Scared. <laughs> Why am I so scared to make this decision? I'm scared, for real, like legit scared. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and use big pearls and small pearls for this one. So I'll link both sizes below so that you know what I'm doing. You know what I'm using if you wanna use it too. For these little ones, I'm using the pliers because, and I'm gonna place them so scared in life, guys. I'm gonna place them like in between the big ones. So it's kind of filling that gap. It makes it more aesthetically pleasing. And like I said, a little dollop, just a little dollop. Just a little dollop. So the trick is to kind of just have them line up as much as possible. So like the row, you want to make it a row as much as you can. Then we're going to go back with the big pearls oh. <laughs> and we're going to put them in between. So then we're doing like a big pearl, little pearl, big pearl, little pearl. And the little pearls help kind of guide where you're gonna put the big pearls again. So you're gonna, cause you're gonna put them in between. So each time you're putting pearls in between pearls. Big ones in between the little ones. Little ones in between the big ones and then the big ones in between the little ones. So it kind of helps guide how you're placing the pearls. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch up the view with you guys so that you can kind of get an overhead view and really see what I'm doing. Now that you kind of have the tips and the guides to place them, I'm gonna go ahead and finish the shoe and you guys will see the final result. Mm -hmm.